My name is Zach Siota, and I'm from the HVAC Shop Talk podcast, and today we're going to talk about setting a charge on a unit. Typically, when it's first installed, we're going to talk about how you know how much refrigerant to put in, and what we're going to do is we're going to look at an example from that same Bosch IDS 2.0 manual that'll show us how to calculate how much additional charge we need. This video is brought to you by Beckett Condensate Pumps. Visit the description of this video or podcast to find out how you can win a $500 gift card by entering their photo contest. Now, while this does apply to many different systems, and you can check different manuals to find out for sure, but I can tell you from extensive residential experience that there are a lot of machines that do it the exact same way. When you get into commercial HVAC, you're going to get into differences between the residential charging and commercial charging. Because whereas we talk about adding just over half an ounce per foot of line set in commercial, because of the size of the line sets, you may be adding three ounces per foot of line set. So pay attention and know that this is only for residential. This is for the Bosch IDS 2.0. It does apply to other units, but I urge you to read up on whatever system you're installing to confirm that you add charge the proper way. Now this slide is for calculating additional charge. You can see that it's designated one through five. You have total line length, standard line set, which is a constant. Then you have A minus B, refrigerant multiplier, and then finally refrigerant adder. So we're going to start right at the top and I'm going to give an example of 50 foot because that's pretty typical. So we're going to have 50 foot of total line length. So just imagine this, you just finish a job, you have to run a line set. When you calculate how long the line set is, 50 foot is what you come up with. So we're going to plug in 50 feet. So we have our 50 foot total line set length and we have our 15 foot of standard line set, which is our constant. And number three says we subtract A minus B. A being 50 foot, B being the 15 foot, which leaves us with 35 foot remaining. So we have our 35 foot and we have a refrigerant multiplier of 0.6 ounces per foot. And number five says our refrigerant adder, how much we're going to add is C times D, which is basically 35 times 0.6 ounces per foot. If we go over to our calculator, we have 35. We're multiplying 0.6 ounces per foot, which is 35 feet. And we have 21 ounces. So now we can plug in our 21 ounces, and that is what we're going to add to the line set before we start up our system. If we can't add it all before we start up our system, otherwise we'll have to add it while the system is in motion. And that way you know you have exactly what you need. One small tip I do have for you guys, if you add the proper amount of refrigerant, you start up the system and it looks out of whack, consider the fact that you might have an airflow issue or some other issue because you know, unless there's an error with the factory charge, which does happen, you know that it's supposedly going to work perfectly as long as everything else is set up. Last but not least, if you've ruled out everything else, then it could be the factory charge. And unfortunately, you may have to draw all the refrigerant out of the machine to see if it has a proper amount. It has happened to me several times in my career, so it does happen, but it's less likely than just having a blower on the wrong speed. I hope this helps, guys. Uh, I've enjoyed talking to you. If you enjoyed this, put a like down, leave a podcast review for HVAC Shop Talk, and I will see you on the next one. God bless you all. Oh, I'm a heating and air guy. And my wife says, when will you be home? And I say, woman, leave.